Okay, so this is what we're gonna make today. Well, not this sweet gun, but a way to make portals or holes uh, for your characters to pass through in your animation. So, let's go. Okay, so how I created the animation at the beginning was I just uh, created a, a mask for my character. So right here I have my character. I'm gonna create a vector layer, call it mask. And then I'm gonna drag it underneath my character uh, layer right here. And I'm gonna create a group. And we'll just call this the uh, portal group or whatever you'd like to call it. And I'm gonna put that above the character. So the character and the mask go into the group, okay? And one of the most confusing things about Anime Studio um, is using masking. Masking to me, the word mask means to hide. You put a mask over your face, you're hiding your face. But in reality, what masking means is wherever you create a mask, is where you're going to reveal something. So what we want to do is we want to keep our character visible and anything behind these portals we want to hide. So on the mask layer let's go ahead and create a shape and I'm just going to use a rectangle and it doesn't matter what the fill color is because we're going to make it invisible. So I'm going to draw a rectangle and like I said, this can be any color. I'll actually change it so it's a little bit more easy or a little easier to see. Um, make that green so you can see. So we want that. We want the character to be seen all the way just um, into the portal. So we'll go ahead and add a couple of points too. Here and do the same thing. So anywhere it, that it's green, that's that's where your character is going to be visible. Okay. So if we double click the group and click on masking and reveal all or hide all, I'm sorry. Hit OK. Okay, nothing happens. Um, but if I grab my character and use the move tool. Um, just like the mirror tutorial, you can see that parts of him are, uh, our character have disappeared and parts are still look like they're visible, but if I render, you can see it's completely gone. So the problem now, the only problem that we have now is to get rid of the green. So if you double click on the mask again, you're gonna go click masking and then we're gonna say um, add to mask but keep invisible so basically that means add to the reveal area I don't again they shouldn't call it mask the reveal area right here but keep it invisible so if we click on that and hit apply it looks like it's disappeared I'll hit OK let's grab the character again and if I go in the timeline and move him now he's past the portal and I reveal uh, he disappears. A uh, better example is if, let me turn my character. And so half of his body is in the mask. So if I render it out, it's actually sticking out of the portal. And actually, I want him to be, I want him to look like he's going through the portal. So. Let's go ahead and move these, the portal images and all that underneath. I'm gonna grab my portal and that. And put all of that just below the portal group. So I think, let's render that out. Yeah, so now he's disappearing. He's going into the portal a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and adjust the mask. Go into our, our portal group, click on mask, and so it's hard to see, but I'm gonna pull the mask over a little bit to the edge of the black of the portal. Let me go back to frame zero and do that. Come over 
here. Make the mask. Right about there. There. And while I'm doing that, I'll do it over here on this side. So, let's go into the timeline, see uh, how I have my character going in there, and if I render it out, he's disappearing through that portal. So if I make an animation, let me go back to frame one, and let's grab our character, let's reset him. Right there. So we'll go to frame one. Just going to uh, set a keyframe for this entire frame. I'm not going to actually animate his whole body, but I'm just going to do that. Go to frame 24. I'll move him this way. Turn him so he's getting sucked in. Actually, make him go all the way through the portal. And let me stretch that out a little more to frame 48. Then on frame 49, I'm just gonna click on the character, the transform layer tool, and then I'll place him behind this portal, then go to frame 96 and have him fly through. And then just uh, go to frame 120 and have him land kind of like that. So I'll render this out so you can see what that looks like. So basically it's just using a mask to um, hide your character and uh, you have to put them in a group. So let's render that real quick. Okay so here's the final render and you can see all you have to do is create a mask and create the mask over the place where you want your character to be revealed and then wherever it's not is gonna be hidden. And that's basically it. So if you have any comments or questions, just uh, let me know below.